Hello, hello. My name is Kim Sohusuapia, and I believe in innovation and doing things differently. This video has been prepared for you to guide you through some well-known concepts that will aid your studies and preparations towards exam. Due to COVID, we cannot meet in person to discuss. So I hope this video finds you well and helps you achieve excellence. Thank you. Now for this question, what we have here are called logical operators. Now this sign here is called the end, end logical operator, and it is represented by two ampersand signs. And this one is also called the all operator, the all logical operator. So what they would actually try to say is x less than y and i less than, uh, uh, sorry, x less than y and i greater than zero or j is greater than five. Now what this is trying to say is, now we realize that all of these, the, these conditional operators here, these conditions here, they would give us boolean expressions which is zero or ones or true or false now let's look at something we first initialized x to be 0 0.005 and y to be negative 0 0.03 now here is what it's saying 0 0.005 is less than negative 0 0.03 which is false which is false and for for the end logical operator both of them have to be true to give us true and if one of them is even false the end logical operator would present a false boolean expression as the total result and when we are using the all the all would also select between them say the all would come like uh, maybe true or false and it would present to us the most reasonable or expected results so from our from our precedence we realize that the logical end has a higher precedence than the logical or so from here from our evaluation we realize that 0 0.05 is less than is it's not it's it is not less than negative 0 0.03 so here the boolean uh, derivative or the boolean result from here would be a false now this is true so and false and true here you see false and true would give us a false so this is my end i can't actually draw the upper sign so so false and true would actually give us a false false and true would give us a false and then we know that five is not less than five they are they are actually the same so or because this one would also derive or give us an f which is a false so f or f which would give us an f which is false so the false is our answer here so let's move on to the next one so now this one also follows the same analogy as the first one which is this so here they are saying zero point they are saying that zero point zero five is less than negative zero point zero three now this is false this whole expression is false and for the end in order for us to get something to be true all the given conditions must be true all the given conditions must be true for in order for us to use an a logical end to get a, a true answer all the all the conditions given all the conditions given must be true if, even if one of them is false the whole thing would result into a false so now this we realize that the first condition is false now the last one which is j is less than five is also false because j is also five and five is not less than five so which should also be false now even the first condition should let us know that our answer is a false which is indicated here because the first one is a false and when you are using the and logical operator in order to get the result to be true all the conditions given you must be true they must logically evaluate to true even if one of them falters and results to a, a false or a zero the whole thing becomes a false and let's move on to our next question okay so now for this question 
what we have here what we have here this part is something we call this part the one on top it is something we call a conditional operator this one it's called a conditional operator now it has a syntax and the syntax is that maybe say this expression question mark this expression colon this expression now what it means to say is that now if this expression is evaluated and this expression is found to be true or false it would come here now the other expressions on the side actually give it options if yeah i think you can say options so say this has been evaluated now the result of the evaluation will determine whether this expression should be used or this expression should be used now the first expression which is this part is when the expression that was used here the major expression if it was true then the first expression would be used and if this evaluation gave a false uh, result then the second evaluation would be used which is the false expression now for logical operators no sorry for conditional operators they are also they also give boolean results that is how they choose the expressions by which they should run so you can say so for this whole thing for this whole logical expression or this whole logical expression what they are trying to say here is what is trying to be said here is j is not equals to five now we know that uh, an exclamation mark and an equals to in the c syntax means it's not so here we can say that now j is not equals to five now the c program runs this and determines that this is false because j is indeed five j was initialized to five so this is false so when it recognizes that this is false then it would come here it would come here expression one ex expression one and expression two now we realize that expression one is only for true cases when the case is true it will take expression one and expression two is for false cases that when the expression is false then the expression two would be chosen now since our expression gave us a false condition we would choose expression two which is j now we realize that j was also initialized at five so j is now j is five j is five okay j is five so now this, we now we are not done we found out that j is five and that is the result for the whole conditional operator but we realized that in the question we did this if you look at the upper one k times the result of the conditional operator which is five now the reason why i'm doing this is because when we look at this part of the initialization or this part of the question it's used k times equals to the conditional operator times the conditional now what this means is that this is just an augmented form of this which is k is equals to k times the result of the conditional operator so now that we found the result of the conditional operator we can go ahead and evaluate it we can go ahead and evaluate it so now since we have the conditional operator the result of the conditional operator we know that we initialized k to 1 so it can be the same as k is equals to 1 times 5 which is the same as 5 so k is equals to 5 and it's our answer here now let's move on to our next question okay so for this question also we realize that this is the conditional operator that has been given to us and this is our conditional operator now as we discussed in the last question we realize that the syntax and this is the syntax for the operational for the conditional operator this is the syntax where the first expression the first expression question mark the second expression colon the third expression so when this expression is evaluated and it is found to be true or false the program would actually come here 
to seek the true or false values or expressions for what we gained so say in expression one our evaluation was true then we would come to the right hand side of the question mark and find what is the true what is the true expression for here when the expression on the left hand side is true what expression corresponds to that answer and we would find that the first expression on the right hand side of the question mark is the true expression and the second one on the right hand side of the question mark is the false expression so for this question we realized that we initialized x to 0 0.05 to 0 0.005 that was what we initialized x to and this conditional operator is saying that the condition in the first expression is saying that x is less than or equals to zero now 0 0.005 is not less than zero it is not less than zero so this would give you a false now if we come to the right hand side we realize that the false or the result for a false expression is zero it's zero because on the right hand side i said that on the right hand side you would have according to this question x colon zero this x is for when the expression would have been true true and this zero is for when the expression is false and then we found out that our expression is false so the result you would get would be a zero and then we would now store this zero inside the z so the answer here for z would be a zero